Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone, and today I will show you how to vault the iconic yellow ball gobbler himself, Pac-Man. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and get started with the square sheets of paper like usual. We'll, I will first fold the edges to the center to divide the paper up into fourths. And then turn around where you'll this time divide the paper up into eighths. And you'll only do it from this one direction for now. Now, we, now that we have the paper divided up into eighths, we'll fold the paper in half. And we will just fold a triangle like this, right on the first line from the edge of the paper. Then of course, you'll unfold the paper completely. Next, you will actually fold the... Next, you will fold the paper, making these marks right in between the triangles you just made. So you'll see you'll fold them with the same reference points where we divide the paper up to eighths. But this time you're only doing it in the very middle, and they're only going to hit the diagonal edges from the triangle shapes you've just made. But they will be the connection for the arms and legs. Next, we will divide the paper up with triangles like this along the center. So you'll only need to do it four times. And just so you know, there is... I accidentally create... I accidentally folded the triangle flap in the wrong place at the very center, so just ignore that part because it should look something like this, with all four squares right there. So now we're done with pre-creasing, and we'll begin collapsing the model by first doing this. So you have that petal folded up a little, and then you'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Once you finish that part, we'll next do an Elias stretch right here. Using the creases you just made when we were pre-creasing. As I've mentioned, as I do a lot, this is of course just simple box plates, box pleating techniques. And you'll of course do it on both sides. Just like that. Now rearrange the flaps like this. So you'll have it like this. It's obvious to see the base for Pac-Man to form now, with the arms and legs and the head. And the, fa and the flaps for his facial details. Next, we will pull these flaps out. So this will be similar to how I did cur my Kirby design many years ago, well, a couple years ago, I mean. So you'll do it on the top head as well, like this. So now for the details around the head, I'll first get into doing the eyes. To do the eyes, we will first do an open sink or a spread squash like this, which doing it this method is the best way for this, depending on how you roll with it. So pull up like this, pull the flap down, and flatten the triangles like this.
Next, we will inside reverse fold this part up here. This is going to be the little eyebrow flap for Pac-Man. And of course you'll do it on both sides. Something like this. Then you'll do a little inside reverse fold underneath this part right here. If you're familiar with Pac-Man's eyes, you'll see where I'm going with here. Now for the nose flap. To do the nose flap, it, it might get a little bit annoying to hear with the one with the one flap around the eye getting in the way at the very center. So if you fold it up a little bit, so then you can make this part easier. This don't ruin the eyes, of course. But what you'll do for the nose flap, and at least the way I do it, is that you'll do a rabbit. You'll basically do two rabbit ear folds. So something like this here. So you're doing like rabbit ear folds in thirds. So the nose will point up like this. So now for the mouth. The mouth can be a little bit tricky. And I might have kind of played around with the details on it this time around. But I won't leave you hanging with what I actually did here. But of course for fully the mouth, you'll be doing pretty much a spread squash here. And I started by doing separating it into thirds like this. The mouth can be kind of tricky because you also want to get the the little tongue detail he has, which I did incorporate. I was heavily inspired by the well. At least I used the Smash Ultimate version of Pac-Man, which I don't think he's that he's that much different compared to um, his other original 3D design. But you'll see where I'm getting at with the mouth here, because you also want to be sure he's able to smile. And as you'll see, you'll yeah have to kind of do like some pulling stuff. Kind of my little trademark when it comes to designing and detailing, just pulling layers without having pre creases soon. And if you've enjoyed this so far, then subscribing to my channel would be very helpful as always. And you can keep up with more uploads like this eventually. But back to here, you'll see that's how I'm trying to form the tongue. Which it's not sticking out, but it's just being pleated here. So yeah, so this part you'll definitely will be playing around quite a bunch. Just to get it right. Because if you don't get it right, then obviously it'll just not look like Pac-Man. Before I get to anything else though, I will do is high reverse folds. Around, I guess, his belly. And then you'll do spread squashes there. So again, this is like a very similar take that I did with my origami Kirby. And if you want to notice, that's basically the inspiration to actually get this design going. Where all I had to do was just add another... Rather divide it to six, I divide it up to eight, like so. But yeah, but here's the belly, just like that. So right around here, I'll continue with the mouth. I'm not going to skip any parts here, because if you want to exactly follow along. But it's important that when you design the mouth that you are getting you don't really need, if the if you don't like the tongue detail, then you can just leave it out. But as you'll see, I'm doing like a bunch of folds here, a little bit of some of those crimps in between the mouth to get the smile correctly.
and you'll have it folded all the way up. And the goal to get a clean face like this with so much detail is that you are like folding a ton, like getting rid of like those unnecessary layers that are kind of sticking out of the way, just so you can introduce with less details on the design. But yeah, you'll start to see it really take it for now with this face. It doesn't like exactly look like Pac-Man for now, but once we start to get the body, like his arms and legs, then you'll see. Which, yeah, exactly, I will get to the arms. So you'll start off by first folding the arms down like this, and then you'll fold it directly behind, like this here. So this will also round the head a little bit at this one part too. As you'll see if you look closely. So now what you'll do at this part is that you're actually going to wrap this flap right here. So this will turn into more of an outside reverse fold, pretty much. As you can see, it might be a little bit finicky sometimes when you're doing this, as you can see. But it's doable. And this will help separate the arms better so it's not like so locked with the body. You can fold that flap down and I think I eventually do a close sync on it. But then behind here you will also unleash these layers behind like this. So then you'll get like a try outside and it's a reverse fold around the arm. This might interfere with the head a little bit. Make it loose, but not super loose. Depending on what posture you might go for, but obviously that's like not even a big worry. So right here, this flap, this triangle part sticking out, I'm actually just gonna close and get inside of the arm, so it does it get in the way more. Because valley fully get behind just doesn't look super good to me, and it doesn't really walk super well. <clears throat> so that's just why it went for. And the part around the eyebrow also might be a little bit weird too. At least with that one flap being pulled down. And then for detailing the hands, well to get the hands, you'll do like this, where you'll fold that flap up to try to create the thumb, and then you're like spreading it out so the so you can get a lot of room for hand details. It's hopefully be big enough. Yeah, so while the whole concept to the design is simple, the detailing part is definitely just like one of the harder parts. Just because you just want it to make it look right. You want it to make it look like Pac-Man, definitely. So this is just the way you're going to have to go with it. But you'll see how I try to get with the thumb there. And any way you'll work, and you'll dare with the arms too. But now for the legs, doing the legs is easier compared to the arms, where you'll just basically narrow them off like this. And then for creating the, his boots, I do a pleat roughly around here maybe, and then I crimp the feet like this. But I'm also doing it in a a different part of the center line for the boots. As you'll see right here. And then you'll just round it like this, of course. And then narrow the leg as much as you can. Just like that. And now, I will show you a time-lapse of the final details I do. Everything is all up to your preference at this point. And if you want to see the me full the details, then you can just put the video in slow motion if you want to. If you just want a cool time-lapse, just go ahead and leave it. And if you want to see the final details, then you can skip ahead if you want to. But here's the final details coming into shape now.
So underneath the bellies in our part, I want to show out, show off to. So what you'll do is that you'll kind of open it up like this, and then crimp right underneath. So this is very similar to folding my origami Kirby that I, I did a couple years ago. Do it just like this, and then really round the sides by folding them in like this. Hold that little small flap so you can lock it. And basically that's how you're gonna get the details for the face. And then really all you gotta do is just like keep on trying to fold it together until you can finally get Pac-Man, like so. These are the final details I did for Pac-Man. My only complaint about it is that his face might be a little bit too big, but I feel like it's just, it reminds me of Pac-Man has some senses. But yeah, so I got the, the feet, the arms, the legs. Really all you gotta worry about when it comes to shaping his body, which might be the trickiest part, is just, just try to like really curve it on the sides more. Sometimes if you appear chunky, just hold or sink those flaps in. Just whichever way works. But in the meantime, that's all I got for this video. Like so.